Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. It is the 31st of May, it is the end of May and the beginning of June tomorrow, which is the start of a new season, I believe. Winter is... What, what actually does define the change of season? I'm gonna look this up right now. My understanding was the se it's the 14th studio of the album by American pop music duo Daryl Hall and John Oates. That's not at all what I was uh, referring to. Uh, mm, <laughs> who, who decides when a season changes? I don't know, but I always had thought it was on uh, March, beginning of March, beginning of June, beginning of September, beginning of December. Uh, just because you get your, your equinox your solstices, and then you get that time when, I don't know, the earth's soaking? Who knows? Actually, it should be the other way then. It should be, May should be the change of season. Who knows? Um, but with a change of season, it is still really cold. Jeez. So, put on some warm clothes, put on a blanket. Maybe I should do the same. Who knows? Uh, today, I will be playing through half of, we'll see how we do. Uh, of a game called... Ah, oh, I was hoping that would come up. I'm playing A Bug's Life. I had played this for the channel way back on the went because I had grown up with this game. Uh, it was... Gosh, I'm unprepared stats-wise. Um, I'm playing the US version. I don't think there's any differences. It's the frame rate. Just do it for that. Apart from Take Two, seem to have their name at the beginning. Um, now, this is an odd one, because I, um, like, I don't think I owned this before I owned, uh, the Toy Story game, which, uh, everyone knows me what's playing and doing all that, so, there's that. This one, this, I think on the channel, this got a fair bit of views. I don't feel like I've done this game that poorly, though, like, but it did reach, um, I got a lot of thoughts racing through my head, kind of coming back to this one. First of all, okay, the first thing I'd like to mention. The full motion videos are so grainy. They are so compressed. They tried really hard to, like, be very fancy, and I think they've gone a little overkill. Although this video probably wowed me a bit on the CRT TV, but when you look at it now, it's like, okay, it's a lot, it's fairly grainy. And same thing with this intro to the, to the film. I think the film starts off this way, and it awkwardly cuts off some, some point in the, the music. So, you miss out on some of the score, you don't really get that cinematic, you know, beauty of the actual film. Fun fact, I only ever watched this film once as a kid, and I've never seen it since. All I know is that the grasshopper gets, like, really eaten at the end. So, there is that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, from when I remember playing it, I remember the first one I did, where I played the N64 version, I don't think I did the, the game much justice. When I played it for uh, the channel in like 2010 on the PS1, apart from, you know, the obvious the recording quality and stuff, I don't think I did it that poorly. I did, went for 100%. I um, even showed off the weird bonus levels that I never even knew existed. I accidentally triggered one on, street, on recording. I didn't even know what it was. And... Yeah, that was a bit odd. So, uh, oh, I should have shown off the um, the title, because you can't you can't back up. They've got the most hilarious demos, but alas, first thing you gotta do when you start up the game, first first thing every single time, is turn on the vibration. I don't know why it's off by default. It's pain. Uh, and then yeah, other than that, this so this game. Always feels a bit odd to me because I feel like there's more love in this game. The menus kind of got like this, like you know, neat leaf theme. Uh, this came out first, I believe. This came out in '98. The other one came out in 2000. Uh, it's still got the same kind of, you know, like the sprite stuff. Uh, and what's kind of weird is that, and you're seeing this in 60 FPS, so you can kind of see that, like, there's one frame where the screen resets back, but the sprites like don't. It's kind of interesting. It's a fun effect, I like it. Uh, but yeah, like, that's, I think that's a fair bit of love in that. Um, I also really like the, uh, the movie clips kind of screen, because... It just feels really fancy, you know? 
and also the fact that the frame rate is great at the bottom and then you go up to the top and it's like Whoa. Someone out there really wanted to get it to 60 FPS, but no can do. You gotta start with the training. I'm gonna talk over it. Uh Yeah. Well, hello. Uh do I have the jewel shot set up? There we go, now do. I um, so, yeah, so, for those of you who have no idea what this game is, it's a game where you basically collect some stuff in a level, and then you fight a boss, um, every third level, and there's 15 levels, and that's it, you get a berry attack, you can jump, you can ground pound, you can pick up these seed things, um, and you can jump on the seed things, uh, there are two different kinds, there's some that are in the ground as that's going to like this, and if you try jumping on them, that just happens. The other ones you can pick them up, you get these little tokens, you can press triangle, you change the color, and if you change the color, you plant a different seed. You can pick it up and throw it out of the ground as much as you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, you can pick up multiple of the same color seed, and that gives you a bonus, you know, level of your seed, uh, which you can freely change with... Uh, I thought that was a button to change the the level of what you've got. I thought there was. Oh well. well so done. point is, is that you know, if you got like this one, which lets you jump onto it, and then this tall leaf, which you can't jump on, but you can do that. And then up here, you are shown off the uh, collectibles of the game, where you have these 50 grains. You gotta pick all of them up for one of the medals. Uh, and the letters, F-L-I-K, you pick up all of those and you get another medal, and then you also saw I picked up a berry, this is a strong berry, the blue berry, uh, it kills some enemies that you couldn't kill otherwise, uh, you can also see me pick up a purple token there, the purple token is the berry power-up, pick up, whatever, uh, pick it up, you get a blue one, then you get the green one, the green one is a homing one, it is awkwardly weak, as in it's not as strong as the blue one. Uh, you can get the, the purple one there, which is homing, and it's strong. And then you got the gold berry. The reason why you want the gold berry is because objective number three is permakill the enemies. You can kill them, but they just come back. Get the gold, and you now get this little indicator that tells you, oh, you can now kill the enemies, or something like that. You want to be very careful you don't get rid of this gold berry, because some levels are actually jerks, and they will want you to pick up, like, another, you know, another thingy. You don't want to do that. You just want to go, yup, see ya, I'm going up the hill, that's it. Um, and other than that, levels have an exit, you can't just fly out, like Toy Story, you gotta walk to oh, some exit. Yeah. I don't know, it just fades out at the end. But, that's it, that's the whole game explained, there you go. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, I still feel like there's more love with this than Toy Story. I just think that there's a bit more personality going on. Um, and it's strange, because, oh, I, and I think the music is... This, is, this one's a bit sacrilege. I think the music's a little bit more on point with this game. Um, tonally. I don't know what's going on with, um, the Toy Story music at times. It doesn't sound particularly Toy Story in various places. It's still good jams, but it's not... There's not as much Toy Story. This really gets you into that anti-vibe. Time for a clip from the movie. This will get me DMCA striked. Who knows? But I've, yeah, I've not seen, these clips are like 15 seconds as well, jeez. So, find the entrance to the anthill, or the anthill. Yeah. Uh, you got this little flying thing, tell you where the way to the end of the level is. Might as well just run to the end of the level. So, how does the game work? You uh, immediately get terrified by mosquitoes, by wasps by every single thing. You wonder what the heck this is. This gives you invincibility. Why you need it? I don't know. Here's an enemy. He's a jerk. But you can ground pound him. You can ground pound him. There you go. Uh, there's a bunch of these grains. I'm just gonna keep picking up grains. This this game is a, like, it's not an eyesore, but you, there's so much going on. Like, jeez. Um, I got this blue power-up, that's the power-up that I just picked up. Uh, so the first level gives you a uh, little involved thing. The second level gives you health increases, uh, because there's no other way to actually kill in this game. Actually, never mind, if you do pick up all 50 grains, you get full health. There is that. 
And if you pick up all the oh, FLIK letters, you get a free life. And you'll see me hit this a fair bit. Um, other than that, yeah, you kind of just go around the levels and you try and find and pick up as much as you want. Uh, <laughs> a bit of, bit of the lurking going on. I just, just noticed, but yeah. Um, but nah, this is a real interesting game, because there's just like, there's, there's a lot going on. And there's at least like a bit of fun exploration kind of stuff. Like you try and figure out, okay, like I'm getting something. Why do I use it? What do I use it for? Uh, this thing's also a jerk. Sometimes it spits out things that hurt you. Like that. I, I don't know why. Some, someone designed it like that. That's a bit weird. Uh, so the green one, on the second level, lets you jump up, which is nice. The red, sorry, the third level, mind you. Uh, the red one is now probably the best thing in the game, and it makes you fly up like this. Not exactly the easiest to use. Uh, I've also never found a great way to get that one token up there. It's just there. Uh, so both of these in the ground, so there's nothing really to do here. The end of the level is in here, and you want to be kind of careful that you don't just go in there, but uh, level designers thought it'd be fun to require you to... Da -da 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 -da. The level designers thought it'd be fun to get you to jump over these sprites, like that. It, it seems like I just glitched the level, but no, they intend for you to walk back here like that. Uh, it feels, feels very off. Other than that, yeah, like, you could just leave the levels, and in fact, I don't think there's any metal requirements for beating any of the game. I think it is just a start-to-finish game if you really want to. So, if anything, I should really figure out the any percent category for this game, because it is, it seems like it's a real just treat. Just, like, just run straight to the game. Toy Story, you gotta get 30 of the tokens. You gotta at least contribute. This game, you just go. So... I don't believe Traveler's Tales did any of the other, um, any other, like, kinds of 3D platforms like this before, uh, oh, actually, I think they did, like, a Finding Nemo game, so maybe there's something along the lines of that, but, uh, I unfortunately did not buy licensed video games from that point on, so, I don't know what's going on there. Um, here's another thing as well, you can pick up this thing, uh, which is from the film, I think. It kills some enemies. Not all of them. It's kind of worthless, to be honest. But I can believe there's one level where you actually do have to use it. So, there is that. This I, can I do not know the strats. Uh, so, this blue one, the third level, gives you some inbound shield. It's just there. Uh, I like picking up these berry power-ups before I get the gold berry, because otherwise then I won't accidentally walk into them. Okay, we're not getting it. We're not getting it. There's a lot of just, like, level to, to just digest, though, in this game. Like, oh my gosh. Why is that music playing? Why is that music playing? Over here. That's like end game music. I... Curse ROM, am I right? This is the, the re-release version of the file, so I don't know what's going on there. So, anyway, I got my FLIK. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get up here. Oh. Alright, time to kill some things. So, there's the fun part, trying to figure out where all these enemies were hiding. There he goes. Uh, the retro achievement set for this game is kind of crazy because it involves like getting certain medals in like a certain time span. So definitely they <laughs> they know how to push some some challenges. I wouldn't have thought that. I would just gonna, like, just beat the game easy. But no, yeah. Uh, other than that, I, like, I do have fonder memories of this game. I can't remember where exactly I first played it, but it's fairly decent. In the realm of licensed games, it does its job decently well. And I think there's something admirable when I, when I go, hey, here's a licensed game that, like, has some stuff for once, you know? 
Like, I don't know, it's nice to play a game that's something that a lot of people may or may not have played, and uh, may or may not have ideas of what's going on there. Again, yeah, so you can see there's a power-up up there, and there's a power-up on the... Like, above that other bit, but... Actually, I think I can get it. There's no purpose to, to getting these now, but... Uh, this was a portable seed, so I might as well try and show it if I can. Uh, the nice thing about the red power-up... Is it red, or is it like orange? I like to think it's red. Uh, is that this works with the seeds. And that's how you get seeds up these ledges, because you can't really throw them off the plants. Uh, but if I chuck that, like, about there, should be able to fly up and get the dandelion. I know, right? So the dandelion is actually kind of worthless. It sh has its purpose in one level. But... Oh, hold on. Okay, that's how you change it. I don't know why I wasn't changing it earlier. So, yeah, you're not forced into using the dandelion from now on. You can just change back. So I think this was the tough one. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of up there. And I didn't really know how to, how to get it. It's just a, a little awkwardly out of range. And the weirdest part is it's the first level. You don't even need it. So, uh, for reference, the dandelion is like a glide. But it doesn't give you the height. Not like, not like this one does. But you can't, can't really reach that. So I don't know. I'll just skip it. Who needs it? No, oh, the flying. What's his name? Dot. Is that the name of it? It doesn't count as an enemy. I believe there's two ants around the corner. So, yeah, I'll see how I go with this game. Uh, my brain's thinking two streams, but we'll see. Again, with the music, it's just going for different music. Here's the thing, unlike Toy Story, it's really easy to know when you've gotten everything because it's literally all on screen. <laughs> so, well, that's the first level. Uh, I hope you all appreciated it, and yeah, feel free to... Continue watching the rest of this. Uh, and you get a bonus film for every, all three medals. So, there is that at least. That was a water ball, not me making a fart noise. Oh. So, what is, what is the bug's life about? Is it about, like, you know... I dropped my controller, nice. Cool. Well, if it stops working, then... Ugh. <coughs> ugh. Seems to be going alright, though. <laughs> cool. I have never been that, like, careless. And... Retroarch has completely... Retroarch died on me. You've got to be kidding me, really? Really? This is some professional stream right here. Uh, quick to the intermission. Oh my gosh. Good old professional stream. Jeez. Oh, okay. So, yeah, well, I was expecting, I wasn't expecting that to happen on me, so. Is that? Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, no, I've been having a bit of a, bit of a weirdly like. Sometimes you get uh, those days where you're pretty. Is, is your big damn Tommy's life lessons? Uh, sometimes you get those days where it's just like you're, um, you know, like really under the weather. I'm feeling like the exact opposite of that today. I'm feeling like awfully, like. Not courageous, but just like, you know, out outgoing today. I'm kind of like, eh, like, who cares if there's something, you know, silly going on. Not silly, but... 
you, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna make mistakes and that's okay. I'll just keep on going. Uh, well, praise be. All the medals saved. So, I didn't lose any progress. It was just a very awkward emulate crash. Nice. Sure. So, no progress lost. Just a bit of awkward time lost. So, I believe this is the plot of the film. His, this guy is a laborer. He has this machine. Obviously, the capitalist who invents machinery and stuff... Uh, Obviously needs investment from the state because their systems do not work. And in doing so, he ruins his nation's economy. Uh, so he cannot feed his himself and his family. Does this, like, usually happen? Do the grasshoppers go, Ah, yes, we could be eating these ants. Yeah! But weird little grain things. Oh. No, I didn't. Just hit the analog six. There we go. Alright, so here's the level that I remember. It's like, the first level was great. This level, I'm like, oh. This I can use. Because I would keep getting lost in this. We'll see if I keep getting lost. It's because you got this weird draw distance. You got things dropping from the ceiling. You got a lot of stuff going on. You got these weird ledges. This is like a Crash Bandicoot level that you can somehow walk backwards in. That's basically that. And you got these side cuts, and you can see they've got limits on how, well, rather requirements on how many grains you need in order to enter them. So as a kid, I never entered them. Uh, uh, the weird looking seed things, I guess that's a new mechanic, is that the, um, the seed that it, or the, the thing that it gives is fixed, and because of that, you can't exactly work around it, but you can 100% choose that jump. So, there's that. Um, so, I I guess on the topic of being rather outwardly on the day, uh, always keep yourself in, in balance, give yourself your check, uh, but also note that it plays both ways. If you're feeling down, don't think that you should always be down. And if you're feeling rather up, cherish it. You know, like figure out why you're actually really happy right now and in doing so keep it because that's always something some people don't realize you know how much they mean to other people how much they actually you know like really care about things and if you figure that out then you know hold on to that easy so for me i kind of felt like you know like one thing is that there's times also the grasshopper is just absolutely wreck your day right now but then you get the super berry and you can actually kill the grasshoppers. That's the one reason why you use this. I think there's actually a couple of other enemies um, in this level. Uh, there's also these wonderful, like, just bunkers. I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, this is a bit of a weird level if you're trying to yeah, grab everything. Because you basically got to run to the whole level. Like, run to the end. Pick up all these grains as you go. Uh, cry a bit because... They're dropping like weird little rocks on you, and I believe the rocks actually hurt. You're, you're probably mad, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get him, yeah. Oh, come on. Back. Uh, they're a bit generous with some of the health sometimes as well, so that's fine. Oh, yeah. you know, I believe the level ends here. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, look. Oh, I d destroy your grain, and I also blew a bunch of you up. And you may be thinking, well, you know, I mean, you're only using the blueberry. They're not really dead. Like, one, look at them just absolutely gib. They're completely exploding. Uh, so yeah, so here's the kind of mean thing, is that there's some of these corridors where it's like, you get a letter. And it's like, cool, okay. So I think the trick is, running to the end of the level gives you a lot of the grains you need in order to open the rest. And then you just gotta make sure you know your, your direction. But it's basically like... One long corridor in that one, like, midway room. But it does keep going. It really does go. And you don't want to fall in the pit. Is this the actual voice actor as well? I don't even know. So... 
Uh, yeah, that, that's your big time Tommy life lesson for the day. Uh, oh, that's a fun thing as well. I think that that little thing I just lit is purely just so that you can remember where you are. Because you start going down like some of these longer corridors and you're like, oh my gosh, where am I going? You know? and the walls came tumbling down. I usually activate the green one there such that I can just jump on this weird mushroom. I don't know, it's here. And then all for an eye. An eye for an eye makes the whole world. Uh, I'm gonna want that. I'm uh, not getting that anymore. You here the brain? Nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, game playing this week has been rather dull on my end. It's been continued adventures on Grand Theft Auto Online, but uh, there's a couple of things that I am still awfully surprised about, and that is just how much content that they actually added in for people to uncover and, and do, and it's not just grind fest of multiplayer, you know, like, lobby objectives. There's a little bit of that. I was playing... Oh, I'm full dead. Ah, uh, yeah, what, what is dying in, nowadays, so... Uh, who knows? Um... I've definitely found that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like, stuff that you can actually do as an individual or a pair. Um, I'm working through the Doomsday Heist with a couple of friends, which is good. There's a lot of, lot of, like, missions with that, so that's good fun. Um, I am also really appreciating that there's, was it the Kaioperico Heist, uh, stuff, and the Casino, and I think there was one other one, there's some other things me to do there's still there is still a fair bit of just it's the multiplayer things to do which is like yeah okay oh, yeah. to be expected but iridescent light I like it yeah but there's also um you know a fair bit of uh yeah just just things bye, to do bye, and, bye. and driving objectives all that stuff I don't really think I've got tons more to say on it than I didn't have to say last week. Um, it's just been ongoing, but uh, if there's one thing I have to say, it's that, oh boy, like, I know people say it's got a hacker problem. Whew. You as a user have one singular tool against the hackers. Uh, and by the way, here we go. He can do some damage with this. So I believe I'm probably gonna, like... Oh wait, is this is this the loop one? I think this is the loop one. So this one actually like comes back on itself and it's so horrendous to navigate. So This is a rather repetitive level to, to talk through, isn't it? Like it just just keeps going. And you gotta get the little grub things as well. So I believe the beginning of the level is here. Yeah, this is the beginning of the level. I got the weird little harvester thing, but like you don't need it. You get the gold berry. Bye bye, buggy. And I'm missing some of the grains, so I'm curious where I left them, but shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, maybe they're in here. All right. Bye bye, buggy. Just full dead, like the. Ground he was in is, doesn't even have to exist anymore. Um, so, but no, like, legit, I have had some horrendous, like, times with some hackers uh, in, this, in the sessions that I've played. Um, so there's, there's the classic, you know, stuff like, um, you know, here's the hacker, he just, you know, shows up, starts uh, teleporting into your car, there's weird things like that. Like, kind of annoying like that. Uh, then there's weird ones like, he'll put a prop over your head. Just, just, okay. Sometimes that prop plays physics. And now, you are now stuck at the mercy of someone making a certain physics object above your head all the time. And you can't do anything about it except for leave the server. It's just, it's just mean. Uh, and for reference for the people who haven't played GTA Online, uh, you don't really get to browse servers. You just kind of join in and it just puts you in a lobby that people are in. Um, and yeah, that lobby sometimes is, yeah, it's got, it's got hackers in it. It seems to happen very often as well. So 
Then you got the really annoying one. So I had this weird one where person was invincible and kind of throwing me off of my one objective. Now, you know, people never work with each other for GDR. Someone's always going to be out there to mess you up. Happens. It's fine. It's just that this guy, he was invincible and he was invincible in his car. And bonus points for he was turboing in his car. Um, then there's uh, the really obvious ones of character just triggers about 12 explosions a second on every player on the server. Just really, really obnoxious stuff. Uh, they'll spam certain messages in the chat. They're just like, ugh. Um, and you, yeah, you, you can't do anything about it apart from Lee. There's a trick I've found, and I don't know if Rockstar really appreciate this, but I will say, as a person who hates having to deal with hackers, I appreciate I have one really slack method to to use against them. So sometimes you'll be in the middle of an objective. You can't leave the server because you're doing an objective. So what you can do is you go into resource monitor on your computer and you suspend the process of GTA 5, to which the game proceeds to not send any packets, kind of times you out from the server, but it doesn't believe you like were in the wrong. So it doesn't quit your objective or anything. Uh, so basically, you end up in an empty server, and then the game in the back is trying to figure out how to slide you into another lobby. Uh, or rather, it, it always seems to just set you up as your own lobby, and eventually people join over time. But you're never like joining into a packed lobby. It's just it's just the thing. So it gives you a bit of peace of mind. There are some things that you unfortunately can't do when there's no one else on the server, which is a little annoying. But there's a lot of things that just you know. They will work fine, provided you're not playing in a private lobby. And that's how you do it. That's how you get around them. You just go, hey, if the hacker is going to cause me issues, I'm just going to do that. And now there's no one playing with me. It's a bit mean when you've got friends, but your friends can easily just join on you at that case. And, you know, one of you is managing the objective, so... I feel like everyone in this cave should be very concerned that, like... Rocks are falling everywhere. I'm just really hoping I'm hitting everything, you know? Like, I'm just w running around, throwing this thing. I am not sure what I just hit, but sure. Yeah, this is going to be good fun if I miss something. Go. Uh, five more? Four more. Three more. Three more. I'm gonna hope there's three more. Uh, so that's, that's most of what I've been playing. I, I had, um, Force of Horizon 3 open for, mm, Missing one, I'm missing one. I cannot believe I'm missing one. And the wall, Worst part is that like I'm just gonna be like crawling these empty corridors until like something appears on me. Oh, it's just pain. That's just pain. Oh, and I fell in a pit. Okay. Uh I I bet you it's one of those like worms that appear at the end, like one of those dead ends, the, the weird red worms. Why is this one being a bit of a joke? There we go. Um, tumbling down. So yeah, GD Online, it's, uh, it's a very big mixed bag. The the worst part about the hackers is that. Uh, you can only report and kick one every few minutes. Like, it, it's happened a fair number of times. Oh, oh, actually, sorry. The worst one, the worst one is when the hacker triggers a mission on you. As in, you have triggered the, you know, the, the thing to go to the other island for the new, like, heist. That, that's pain. I'm doing a task right now. Why are you able to just, like trigger me going to another island like why like there, there's a horrendous amount of overreach that is done the client should not like believe that he can do that 
ever. There's really no reason for the client to believe that he's in the zone that leads him to that. Especially when the game, like, knows I haven't paid for that heist, or that objective is not on screen right now, or I'm doing the free mode objective, or I haven't pressed right while in a zone. How about that? Like, like there should be a ton of, of client-side checks to assert that. There is no reason a server should, like, force me into that. So, that's the part that's really annoying. And yeah, I said you can't report people too many times in quick succession. What do you do when you actually leg legitimately have so many hackers? You, you can't deal with it. So, you, well, you, you do the one thing. You put, you take matters in your own hands. Now, I, I feel like a Rockstar employee is probably listening to that and going like, Oh my gosh, like, you know, what? You're not, oh, really? Okay. They're like, oh, look, you're not playing the game as it should. It's like, I, I cannot, for the life of me, play with random people when I it feels like one in 20 people are a hacker who is going to, like, get in my grill. There's a lot of hackers who are generally hands-off. I appreciate that. I don't quite appreciate them hacking. Like, even things like the money drops, honestly, like, the GDA online money is, is a bit of a joke considering how rather easy it is to get time consuming uh well, i'm talking about uh gda5 and i'm just kind of having a bit of rant about like the hackers and it. it's horrendous um i i just went through a story of uh how a hacker triggered me going to the island for the new Cairo perico heist while i was trying to do a free mode objective uh which is just it's just oh, yeah. awful um so but but also like yeah i do not understand how there's so many things that they can do that your server, like, like, that I don't understand. I just do not understand how a client lets that happen. So, the one thing I'm legitimately terrified about is, if they can do all of that, at what point, like, are they able to execute arbitrary code on my computer? There's weird ones as well, though. I'm like, how on earth, like, does the server let someone change it? So, like, time of day? I had someone change the radio station and constantly play the baby. Like, I'm amazed how many kinds of things people can do. But I'm also curious, how? How do people let that, like, how does, how has Rockstar kept that just be a thing all the time? Oops, fade out. See ya. <laughs> Do you gain anything by, like, witnessing these cutscenes? Who knows? Like, an understanding of the game. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it probably is a lot of peer-to-peer -peer stuff, but the, 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 um, the lobbies are still 60 players, like, tops, so... That seems a bit overkill, but... Oh, okay, okay, no, I take it back with the money drops, because the problem with the money drops is that if someone drops too much money on you in a short period of time, you get that prompt saying there's, a like, too many transactions happening, and you just, like, cannot do anything. The game just, like, flat screens you into something. Oh my gosh, jeez. <laughs> I, I forgot this, and I'm like, what, what is this? What is this thing? Yeah! Now... I think, unlike the film, you don't fight Thumper, usually. Green, green, green. Well, in the film, I'm pretty sure he doesn't Bring fight. This music is, like, really aggressive as well, but... Uh, so, unlike the Toy Story 2 game, if you watched me play it earlier, the boss levels are actually uh, a proper level in some degree. Um, so the boss is dancing around, uh, ruining my day. We got this thing over here, which is dropping involves, so might as well. Uh, your short-term objective is that, obviously, because it's a grasshopper, you can't kill it unless you get the, the blueberry, but you can get some things to help you out there. Kind of interesting that, like, there's a boss fight built around the fact that, like, you know, you have to play on that objective. Um, so, yeah. Uh... So I, I, I mentioned as well, I had started playing Forza Motorsport 3. Uh, it's in this kind of awkward camp of... Well, I, put, I guess I put that berry there, so... 
I don't think they've got like tons of faith of the player to figure out how to get the um you know the, <laughs> the remaining uh, blips there but now the trick is as well you don't want to kill them because that's what the gold bear is for and every single boss you have to figure out if you if you want all the all the medals you got to figure out how to get that gold berry before you you get them so yeah, the, the jump is a bit awkward though. There's, like, there's a, there's a bit of like mm, mm, map geometry, map geometry. Just it's here, boom. There we go. Okay. And then there's this F up here, which is actually that's actually the worst spot. I've remembered. Oh my gosh! Just leave me alone. Whoa. So I've got the purple one there. I believe the green one is on top. So uh, let's chuck this down over here. I believe I can jump on top now. There we go. Oh, yeah. So that'll give me the gold, and then I guess I could just pick up the the up here. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's, let's do this. It's not it's not too involved of a boss fight, but more involved than it would be otherwise. Where do you go? Where did one mosquito go? Mosquito? Is he gonna launch another one of me? He does! There he is. Oh. <laughs> it's a- it's a game. It's- it's a game, 100%. Also, everyone dies like really hard in this game jeez everyone just blows up don't you remember this from the film much happened yeah. in the film right yeah yeah uh so yeah I, I'll, I'll just run through the mechanics so the whole point is that you collect the tokens such that you can up you can plant better seeds you can change the color of the seeds what you want but the whole point is that you want to get the the berries you want to get the gold berry at some point such that you can perma kill enemies and then otherwise, you pick up the seeds, you pick up the letters, that's how you beat the the levels. I I still forgot the plot of the film as well. I all I remember is that basically, like <laughs> in in his quest to to overthrow his tyrannical leaders, uh, not as in his tribe, but you know the the grasshoppers. Uh, he looks for for a a, a more <laughs> overwhelming force, uh, which I guess fails not in the sense of uh, finding you know something bigger, but the fact that he doesn't find anything. I, I'm really not too sure what the metaphor of the, the film is. Who knows? So, and then, yeah, at that point, he just... takes a dandelion to... somewhere. Like... Okay. Uh, it is these next three levels that irks me the most about the game. Uh, so... It's a neat idea. I actually really like it because the effect is so cool. Apart from, you know, obvious skybox. You got this wonderful bird just chilling above you. It's just there. Uh, but the, the gist of the level is that you actually get a dandelion and you fly your way out. Uh, the bird. Uh, but it's a bit mean because I don't believe you can come back up here. So you have to actually get everything you can up here before you continue on the level. Um, I don't think any of these levels are particularly that long that, you know, would grill you over too much, but... There's a fair bit going on. So, you get all that, then you get your little flower thing, and that's, that's the important part. Um, also, fart noises up the wazoo. And then there's an F there as well, so you want to make sure you get the F. Uh, are both of these rooted? They are. Okay. I believe you can do this. So, oh, whoops. 
Oops. Still oops. There we go. So switch to that one. There you go. So you can use that to give you a bit of extra height, which is kind of neat. And then other than that, away you go. <laughs> you gotta pick up the F. You got these uh, little dragonflies up here. Uh, obviously, if you touch the ground, you absolutely get killed. So that's always a fun. Um, and they said boy ants couldn't fly. The boy ants. Uh, but yeah, you, you follow along the path, pick up the L, take the L, you know, pick up the homing thingies, and uh, once you get past the thorns, you are safe to land. But there's a couple more, couple more seeds and stuff to get, and then they just put a gold berry at the end. They're like, eh, who cares? So. What's up, Bretzo? How's it going? Yeah, I'm curious how the, um, how the, I guess, like, I don't even know if this game gets speedrun as, as nowhere near as much as Toy Story. Toy Story is, like, surprising, because I wouldn't have realized that that game, like, definitely picks up in terms of speedrun. But, yeah, I, I do really like this one, um, for, for different grounds. I think this game is just the much more like you know pronounced game as, as much as i'm fighting a camera angle right now <laughs> oh and and i'm not only am i fighting a camera angle i'm fighting a sliding floor there it is like look at mm, mm. <laughs> i like this game but it's also got a lot of that you know like late 90s late 90s traveler's tale charm of just stuff but it's all right i like it uh, can I hit the L? No, that's an I as well. So this is an interesting boat because, yeah, you got these seeds that you can pick up and chuck there, and I might as well just grab the gold berry. So you got to be uh, careful when you've got a level that has um, a gold berry like sitting there because what is that? what? Where is that going? You got to be careful if it ain't, ain't collectathon. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm amazed how many games are out there where it's just like, they add in, and even nowadays, so many games add in just things to pick up. Why? Like, I, I'll, I'll come back to GDA Online. I just spent six hours picking up a hundred action figures. Why? What do I gain out of this? It, it was only even six hours as well. Like, for something that should take players a fair bit of time, it's like... Yeah, uh, you know, six hours ain't too long. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful oh, yeah. if you pick up that gold power up because you don't want to pick up another one. Up here. Uh, other than that, now I've got the gold. Let's just go back and kill some enemies. One of the first games you ever owned? It was probably up there for me as well, um, being one of the older ones that I owned. Um, all my old like PS One libraries some of the some of the old, early stuff I ever had um, I had a handful of games uh, on PC but I never really took off on PC it didn't really click with me as much um, and then I guess there's also you know access to the PC when you're a kid because this was, this was back before like you know everyone had their own kind of personal devices all right this is this is the meanest part of the level right here though so I gotta go back and pick up the seed here and wheel it on back through all these cracks and it's so horrendously annoying because sometimes the game just doesn't let you climb up these slopes sometimes it does who knows um yeah you can just chuck it down and we can figure it out uh but the trick is is that i want a dandelion because I'm gonna hover. Now you can throw your berries up here. We gotta go back for all these guys. And as a kind of mean thing, uh, you have to. Oh, I mean, I'm past the thorns. So I missed that one. It's kind of mean thing. 
uh, the flower, and I can demonstrate this here, like, it pushes you up if you f fly next to it. But then it, it leaves you in this awkward, like, halfway position where it's like, it's not enough to, like, continue going on. You have to swing off it and swing back on. Uh, and then, yeah, you gotta work your way all the way back to the level and make sure you kill every other enemy on the way. I don't believe there's an enemy on the top, so... Alright, like, where I started. Uh, and you also gotta do this while not getting killed like what I'm about to do. And no, you cannot kill the bird. But... I don't know, the game is just like, I'm gonna just put you off the top, who cares. Get him! Get him! Get him, there we go. Uh, so there should be one more, there he is. I guess it's a rather the short level in that case. Uh, offset by the next level. Yeah, be, be forewarned. Oh, I've got a red thing. Why? I don't know why. OBS was telling me I'm dropping everything. It's like I see seven frames dropped out of like 200,000. It's been 51 minutes and you're telling me I just dropped my first seven frames? Something, I guess, but... That's just rendering lag, so who knows. Oh, so... That was level four. There we go. Done everything. Did it all. Okay. Hooray. Oh, well. So... Uh... Other game. Playing the... The on-off. Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. Again, same thing as last week. It's pretty good. I'm getting to that point where I'm getting the food trucks absolutely ruining my day. So they knock out a uh, holding station or they uh, <laughs> do, do manage to close the stream rate. Right? Oh, exactly. It's, there's only 15 uh, levels in the game. So yeah, I, I don't expect it to take me longer than two streams, but... There's definitely a lot of stuff going on in this game, though. Like, I'm surprised how much I can, you know, like, talk about it. I, all these videos, they cut off, like... Like, you'd want, like, a full scene. You'd want, like, something going on. And instead, it's just, like... Ah... Uh, I, I... I know I skipped through all the, the cutscenes on the Toy Story game, but at least they did the entire scene uh, with Buzz in the, the the video game just as a video but it's like hey you know it's something this is literally this is literally right after the last scene like <laughs> they made a whole level out of like halfway between two shots of the film it's crazy and that is a terribly like jpeg character on top of like this picture like is 100% yeah. not lit properly. So, here's annoying level number one. Uh, massive maze full of things. You can look at these little telescope things which will point towards something in the level. There's really no context. There's really no context for anything. Like, you will just come across this later. Uh, game development, exactly, yeah. But, yeah, the gist of this level is that it's a maze. A horrendously annoying maze. Let me, let me try and pitch it in my head where I'm going. There, there's definitely checkpoints. Like, you won't get 100% lost. Um, no, I'm actually going to pick that up. I know I'm, I know I'm going to accidentally pick it up at some point. So here's the question. Is this a seed? It is a seed. Okay. So let's, let's go back. Let's go. Yeah, never, never go that direction at the start. And we just continue on from there. I'm curious, actually, like the development cycle in this game. Because you never hear... I uh, always keep left. Oh, exactly. Exactly. But you never hear, um, like, any of the... I don't remember any of, uh, like, John Burton's videos on this game in particular. And I don't know if there's, like, licensing on it or whether he just really cares about the 2D era of games. 
Uh, so there's your checkpoint. There's that one egg that has the one power up in it. They've already given me like the second of the power ups as well. Sorry, the, the all three of them except for the, the gold berry, and I believe the gold berry is just somewhere on the level. So picking them up just so I don't accidentally pick them up is probably a safe bet. Uh, so here's level design. We've got these ledges that you got to run up and complain about camera for a brief bit. You got these little daddy long legs. This is there. Uh, I don't know what I gotta do. Oh, uh, wait, that's for a letter. I'll come back for it. Come back. Because I know you gotta, like, walk a seed up the hole, like, bit, and I don't know if I need a later seed. I think I do need a later seed, so might as well just continue the level and then come back for it. Really aggressive level, though, like, jeez. It's such a deep end of a level. It's just, it's just full of, like, maze. Crush everything with your massive ant butt right there. Hey, I appreciate games that do indeed have like a butt slide like that though. Uh, let's. Do I jump up there? There you go. I don't know why they put that there. Actually, that's probably a fair game for one of these if I really wanted to, but sure. Oh, the camera. Is it the L buttons? I thought it was. It's not. Oh no, they don't have free camera controls in this game, do they? They don't. Y you've got a camera lock button. So that's the gold berry, so I guess let's work a way to get in the gold berry here. This is. Yeah, so this is the meanest part of the level, I remember this. First of all, they put this, like, thing here, to kind of indicate that you go over, but note that at this point in time, I don't have the, um, the, the power up, and... Crossing the riverbed. And I may have... Oh no, okay. I thought I, thought I soft locked that. But it's still, like, it's such a... Precise like throw. Ugh. <laughs> Games is like, oh, are you trying to cheese me, are you? You're going in the pit. Ugh. There you go. I didn't really think this through, did I? Stop volunteering. Oh well, come back for some nice collisions there, exactly. Come back for it. Uh, I just need the green on that one, don't I? Yeah. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, which way is, which way is forward? This is like obviously a ledge that they want you to have a plant to get over, but I'm very certain you can just jump it. Oh well. I don't, I don't know my, my, uh, a bug's life speedrun chance. Okay, legit, what is this? What is like, what is raining down on me? There's just so much stuff happening, like, jeez. So I believe there's only three of, like, these pedestal things, I don't know. But, oh boy, it, it just, it goes. Oh, so. Uh, that's the, uh, the fourth level of the green thing, which is, I think, exactly what I needed. So, that's good. What? <clears throat> Mmm, the slipping, the slipping. Not how much like distance he gets when I stop the stick, by the way. I mean, that sounds. Is this act? Oh, it totally is purple place. Yeah. 
Purple place is like a sign of history, you know? I there yet. Alright, alright, don't fall off and this guy's in a fun yeah. position. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I do this just to get the shield thing as well, which isn't like that useful. Uh, and that's right, they put a loop in this maze. It should be kind of clear that it's doing a loop considering it's just a square, but I guess still. I didn't ask for that. You know? bye bye, Bucky. So I believe they're looking for the green one in the end. The like that that's actually your requirement to leave the level. And then at that point. Oh my gosh. Just just chill with the chill with the drops, please. At that point they give you the one thing that you actually need in order to escape this level, you know? Alright, let's roll. I'm fairly certain you don't need like this one in particular, but the eye is up there. So it's just like, ugh. So I think the trick is, you gotta put one of these down, get it so it's the blowy one, and then you gotta get another one and lead it up. Get it up there. Yeah. That's gonna be a very persistent or insistent. Existent. It's not it's not gonna like me very much. Chucking this up there. It's just gonna pop it right down. Alright, how about that? Crossing the river bank. I don't even think that's any better of a position, to be honest. I'd prefer just putting it here. I'm just committing to there. Alright. Once more, with Gusto! With Gusto! Oh my gosh. See, this is the one, the, the part of the video where I say, like, hey, to anyone... Oh, I did it! It's up there. Okay, nice. <laughs> Alright, this, this is the part of the video where I go, like, so to anyone who played this as a kid, did you actually 100% this game? Like, <laughs> it's kind of painful! Oh my gosh! It's just dropping things everywhere! Uh, this game is full-on anxiety-inducing. Alright. Uh, might as well make it green. That gives me there all the height. Go. There we go. All that for an eye. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Alright, let's carry these back. I mean, fortunately, I don't think I need anything else. I, you only need these just for those high ledges. So, you can get all these to the high ledges. Easy. But I don't know if they've walled it off because they intend for me to not chuck them over these pits, so... Oh, come on. Crossing the river. Okay, there was a second seat over here. So this was Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Big red rocks. Alright. This is the one where I yeah, I need to double throw it over this. Ooh! Gotcha. Nope. And yeah, the, the worst part is that that's gonna respawn back here. So that's why I was like, yeah, I'll just go with the close one. If I can get both well, I've got the other one over there already. So I just need to get this one consistently over there. Ooh. I don't think there's anything you can do about it as well. Like, I think you legitimately have to get the seed over. Am I there yet? Look at this guy Tokyo drifting his way over as well. Yeah, so I know that you could use this to, like, make a safe, like, jump, but... Alright, let's see if there's something out here. It's like, this is the, the mean bit, is that it looks like, okay, so, like, you got a ledge here. And then, like, no other power-up, no other seed. Okay, and then... 
he can kind of cheese that, but this is, this is just, like, that's not really useful, is it? Uh, might as well pick up this. So you gotta get a seed up here. You gotta, you gotta just, just go for it. Hmm. So, I'm gonna just keep trying with, oh, oh. I'm just going to keep trying with the other seed. Why is it over here right now? Ugh. Come on. Just going to keep trying, bro. Keep trying. I got it. I did it with the other one. Maybe this side will have more luck. Stop volunteering. <sighs> here we go, here we go. I, I'm trying to get as dangerously close to the edge as I can. Because otherwise that. I would legitimately game over on this level, that's why. I... Okay, alright, we're one. We're one out of two. I'm a bit sad. I'm a little sad. I'm a little sad. Alright, come on. Crossing the river bank. Fine, I think I'll I think I'll actually try and do it the way that they intend. Are they sure like just throwing over? Hold on, wait, legit. If I just plant it and then like uproot it. Does it just respawn here if I throw in the pit? It does! Well that would have saved me a little bit of a headache earlier. And I just did it. Okay, well, stop doing it the way that they intend. So I've got this. And it worked. Why is there, like, so many different kinds of, like, insects as well? Like, you got these little, I, I assume those are, like, are those supposed to be snake bugs? Maybe. That doesn't look like it's got the height. No, it doesn't. I guess I could throw it like halfway up, but... This isn't all it was cracked up to be. Oh. Oh. Alright. Careful, easy now. Easy now. <laughs> Straight into the abyss. Alright, how about let's do a double throw like that. Bye bye, Bucky. Why does everything in this game just blow up as well? Eh. Yeah, that probably worked. That actually got the bug at the end. Nice. Alright. Here's the gold berry. Time to annihilate everything in the whole game. I'm gonna wait for that day long to come back. Oh, maybe not. But get rid of this guy. I can get rid of the blowfly that keeps spawning here. You know. Here are everything that's ruining my day. I think I should be good actually for the rest of the level now because that's the part that usually gives me the pain. It's just getting those seats over. The maze isn't too bad. It's just one bad. It's kind of annoying. But. Uh, I might as well walk back to the start. Oh, there's a letter up here. Wait. Oh, do I have to walk this back? I think I do. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. 
I've actually played a, a few other um, Disney uh, games as well uh, on the PS1, but... Uh, actually, I, I've got some highlights on the channel. Uh, you know, Twitch has highlights, I know, right? Um, but I've got some on the, the channel uh, for, like, when I did just, like, a casual, just, like, no commentary run of maybe a couple of them. And it was just, like, some of it is just the most hilarious stuff. Because it's just, like, like, uh, there's a Lilo and Stitch game, and it's literally just Crash Bandicoot. And I'm just like, who was this intended for? It, it's it's such an odd one. At least the Traveler's Tales games, I can go, hey, like, you know, there, there's at least a game in there. There's at least, like, some, you know, kind of originality. Like, it's a collectathon, I know, but... I think the plant thing's neat. It sets it apart to some degree. But... Uh, <laughs> Although I can do with fewer level fives, you know. Crossing the river bed. All right, so I think I've got one more of those tall bits over here, and then it's just blowing up the remaining enemies. And I think because the uh, L's up there, yeah. So I'm gonna get two seats because I'm running around here going, yeah. But I actually, yeah, I need two seats. So. Let's come back. Let's figure out where I can get two seeds. Oh no, the two. Oh wait, is this two seeds? One, two. Got it. Ah, oh, it's gonna be kind of awkward. I gotta walk at least one of them back. Oh well. Am I there yet? Uh. <laughs> Gosh, she keeps going. I'll, I'll repeat again, I think the music is rather on point on this game, though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I like it. It's the same, like, two people who have done, like, most of their, um, most of Traveler's Tale stuff. That reminds me of, uh, was it Muppet Race Mania? I remember playing that one, and that's, uh, that's a game that just, oh boy, like, well, it's so Traveler's Tales. Like, that's the that's the best part. Is that it's it's so much just a game in this league, but it's it's a kart racer and a rather decent one at that. So, I appreciate it for that. And that that's what makes me, like, mildly upset about, like, how Traveler's Tales is just pump out LEGO games. I am at least glad that they can make so many LEGO games and not just here as a developer studio that now just makes Call of Duty DLC, like, sure, but, uh, yeah, on the flip side, it's like, you know, what, where's the, the huge originality? And uh, I guess it's just a, it's just a market thing, you know, newer games, I don't know. I don't really know how to gauge it. Like, it, it's hard for me to get excited about like a ton of newer games now because it's just like they come out and they exist or they, you know, so, there's some games that really wow me. I always keep noting uh, Prey 2017 as as a game that legitimately, you know, surprised me and how how good it was. So uh, it also surprised me that I got to keep referring to it by year because Prey 2006 is also a good game. So. I, that's the bit that I get to yell at the most. Just like, here's a title that's just like, what does it, what does it mean? Am I about to lose the shield? Just I am. Wow. Is this? These like things are just so obnoxious. How persistent they are. Jeez. It's kind of crazy how many things you gotta hit though. Uh, so I think I've got enemies up there. I think I do. Yeah, there's a, there's a boy. Oh! I guess that works for the... Oh! And there's a worm. Oh, there's a worm. There he is. I was waiting for the worm. Boy. 
Blando keeps dropping song titles in his streams all the time, and it's just like, did you not see, like, <laughs> the last 19 videos? 20 videos on this channel, and just like, what's the titles? Like, terrible buns, all of them. Oh. I appreciate this game, but I don't... <laughs> Don't quite like everything in it. Look at all that. Did I hit the day long legs like that somehow? Wow. Okay. Alright. The wasp. Give us another one. Give us another one. Did I. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. Well. At least I didn't lose one on the way, but yeah, geez, like that, this level, it just goes. It just keeps, keeps going for a fair bit. This actually, I remember this being a pain of a level, um, for the, the original Let's Play back in the, back in the 10 minutes, but it was really 10 minutes, 59 days. That was actually, like, painful to, like, try and, you know, watch the time while you go into this level. That's what, that's what I really appreciate, you know, YouTube... Uh, following a bit of an earlier trend, but still doing it at a time that's, you know, can they can capitalize on unlocking the frame rate limit. Oh, sorry, frame rate. Uh, unlocking the video length limit. Because legitimately, people don't upload like, well, I'm, like you could just keep uploading videos to YouTube. So there wasn't really a huge concern like that. And uh, again, like most of the gag is just gone because they cut the scene in half. It's, 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 it's kind of bizarre. Oh well. Um, I'm gonna be the kind of crazy person who loads a game at this point in time as well. Who knows? Uh, but no, yeah, like, yeah, when YouTube removed that limit, or rather when they upped it to 15 slash 15 and a half minutes, and then eventually gone, uh, they... You know, they open up that world of possibility, which is, I don't have to keep cutting my videos short all the time. We are the red text for once. Apparently the bird is, is, uh, the villain in this yeah. level. This I can use. This is gonna be trouble. So, other than that, you are in some weird, like, round ditch, and here's your weird water. Gotta get to the top. Oh, yeah. Wait, did, did Traveler's Tales just make the same, like, macro scale game use. twice? Oh. Maybe. So, uh, your goal for the level is to pick up all those things. Uh, all those blue tokens, and you get super jump. super jump, where you can jump, and you can just yeah. you can just jump. It's just there to Ray get you up the level, but sure, okay. I think there's a couple of levels that use it. It's something. Uh, by the way, that's a yellow power up. So that's for turrets, I believe. I don't know if there's, a uh, anything on cutting room floor in this game. I think there's a prototype, but I don't know really anything about it. Now, this is the main thing. I think there's other thingies on the level. So I'm just gonna wander around a bit and try and clear off as many. There's some mean things like that, and then, you know, just ways to get back up the level. So, yeah, the turret power-ups are kind of weird, because they exist in a handful of levels, but they seem awfully contextual, like, they just exist. Why not? Uh, so I believe, yeah, the goal was to get that specific one. The first one can't aim up, but this one can. And that's what you need. Alright, so this should be, that's all the, the letters, nice. Oh. 
platforming just be an absolute burden sometimes, you know? Who knows? There's like one odd enemy here and there, somewhere. But though there isn't two, I can guarantee- oh, there he is. Alright, so now all I need to do is kill the bird. Uh, now the bird's in this awkward spot where you gotta get this. Bird heals, I believe. That's the mean bit. You gotta make sure the plant doesn't kill him and instead you're killing him. The bird just flies away, at least. It's not... He's not gonna absolutely blow blow everyone up. Oh, yeah. So, okay, we'll leave it at that. Hey, more bonus video clips. Look at that, they finished the scene. Fully dead. Fully dead. <laughs> okay. So that's six of the 15 levels. Let's see if I can try and bring it to nine, but we'll, yeah, we'll see how that's going. I remember one of these levels was absolutely painful, but I think it was seven, actually. <laughs> City Entrance. Oh well, so... <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, real freaking talk. Real talk. I... I legit, hold on, legit. I just, I just, so... I just went on Google, I'm just like, okay, I need to remind myself of like, how do I do these secret levels? And, and I just typed, a bug's life secret levels. The first result, gamefacts.gamespot.com. I remember playing this game as a child, and I recently got it again. I remember that there was a way to get a bonus level, but I can't remember how. Does anyone know? Thanks. Chuck Norris, 95, 11 years ago. Uh, this was 2010. Top voted answer, 10 years ago. Uh, is that... Is that month and then date? I can't tell. 5 slash 8. It could be month slash uh, day. It could be day slash month. I cannot tell. I cannot tell on any of these pointers. Uh, he just goes... Master Pillow 147 writes, Thanks to Bean Dow's YouTube walkthrough of a bug's life, I figured out that there are actually three different bonus levels in the game. There are three different ways to get to the bonus levels, and each one can only be used once to access the bonus level. Although the three hidden movie clips are unlocked when you complete the first bonus level, you can still complete the two other levels, and as I much say, properly unlock those two other movie clips. The three ways to access the bonus levels are as follows. Kill five enemies in a row with a butt bounce without missing once. Line up five mushrooms in a row and then jump on each one without landing and kill five grasshoppers in a row with the blueberry, making sure the berry hits the grasshopper every time. So that's... Mmm, yeah. I remember looking them up, but I cannot for the life of me like find where that stuff is now. Um, and yeah, this, this is a weird power-up as well. So this is the turret that shoots... I believe it shoots blues out of everything? Yeah, it does. And it'll probably kill enemies. But why? Why do you need to actively kill the enemies here? So, that's my claim to fame. This guy on GameFAX saying that, like, I'm the source of truth when it comes to that bonus level. And I'm like, I don't even remember, bro. I'm glad you wrote it down, because legit, I would have had to, like, dig through those videos again and try to figure out what on earth I had found. I had found them somewhere, but... I'm curious if, like... Like, if they intended for people to find those. Because they all sound so arbitrary. I think I remember doing the butt sliding one because I did legitimately butt slide, like, or butt stomp, like, five enemies in a row. Because um, I, yeah, I think I just done it because I just always accidentally butt slide. Oh, yeah, this is the part that irritates me. The fact that the enemies, some of the enemies on this level drop seeds. 
It, why? Why do they drop seeds? Who knows? How nice of them to give you all the greens just straight up, though. But yeah, I, I always get, like, reverse starstruck. What's the term when, like, you're the star, but you don't really like, realize it? Like, and, and that sounds, like, so self centered But you know what I mean? It's just, like, I keep forgetting that, like, I've done some of it. Like, legitimately, I think a lot of people have watched, like, my older Toy Story and A Bug's Life stuff. And I'm kind of, like, you know, I, I'm a little daunted that there's, you know, I think a million's pushing it, but... You know, at least like half a million people out there who legitimately like watch my my videos and then one's like, yo, like this game's great. So to that I just say like power to you, you know, like And and if there's one thing, these games haven't horrendously aged. They still like you know, they're still rather playable. I don't know their quirks, but I can think of some some 3D platforms that just absolutely just don't work anymore. Uh, I need 10 seeds as well. Maybe I should... Maybe I should get the strong berry instead of just like walking around and going, hmm. Uh, so yeah, so you got a gate limit to continue on the level. And yeah, the enemy's dropping seeds. That just seems so odd and backwards compared to the rest of the game, but... But, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you're one of those people watching and you legitimately watched some of my old stuff, uh, one, I apologize for my voice and the N64 version and the unregistered Hypercam 2 up in the corner of the screen at all times. Uh, I hope that with this I can kind of show the game in a more contemporary light and, uh, still describe, still describe the game in as best of detail as I can. Um, oh wait, it's the involved thing over here. No, it's not involved anymore. I chucked it. Well, time to take the hit. Take the hit. This I can use. Is that a legitimate use of a Guero, or is that like... No, that's not a Guero, that's some other thing. Actually, I got a Guero, like, last week, and I'm absolutely loving it, but it sounds like absolute garbage on, on a microphone, so I'm trying to figure out uh, the best... Well, not not on a microphone, but, like, you can't... You can't just, you know, make a Guero sound. You gotta, you gotta find a good spot for it. Um, and so... Uh, I'm trying to find a you know, ways to integrate a, gu a guiro into a general musical, you know, vocabulary of things to play, but... A uh, playing card. Who built all this stuff? Like... Green, green, green. Yeah. Uh, reach for the F. The respawning enemies is actually, like, the most annoying part of this game. Like, I know it's a mechanic for the... Uh, collecting stuff, but it's just like, man, it really gets, like, annoying just, like, coming around the corner and here's the enemies again. Bye -bye, just back. There you go. Uh, do you think I could get that? Because I do need to collect them at some point. So, I uh, uh, 100% can at this angle. Little ant, yeah, big geez. city. Yeah. Alright, now here's a question. Do you think I can get into the bottle? Ooh, and there's this. But why? This this is legitimately one of those levels I'm just like, but why? When it comes to that. Where's the tourist information? And here's something that I find kind of annoying. It's that they've got these leaves to like wall off the level, but it just kind of, you know, really cuts off. Uh, I know PS1 games, you can't really render too much further than the level, and honestly, these these levels are Decently sized, they got their stuff well, going on. This is just like home. This is a fun one where you can just walk around. Is he legitimately like I was gonna say buggering off, that's a that's a pun and a half, isn't it? You know what I mean. <laughs> like he's walking away. He's walking here. 
Oh, popped it in the face. Uh. Now to find those warriors. I guess, yeah, if you're worried about, like, losing all your lives, you can just farm on, you know, the, the F-O-I-K letters on nice one. Yeah. one of the boss levels. Wow, the city. Probably wow. seems like the easiest one to, to do it on, but... Yeah, all the, all the stuff are so spread out on this level. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna jump over it, I guess. Oh, oh. Also, there's a, like, a siren noise. I f feel like this is the one track where I'm kind of like... <laughs> they probably told him, it's like, make some city music. Make some, like, bustling city music. And then forgot to tell them, uh, Bugs Life City. Like, <laughs> like, uh, no cars, please. And they went with it anyways. The absolute madman. I love it. Oh, this is the worst one. This is the worst C to get out. Because you have to get it out. You gotta do that. You, you gotta just pick it up and throw it quickly. I... I... think that's what they intend. I don't know. Can I even get that? Oh, 100%. Yeah, jeez. Whoop. You know, I almost couldn't get that. Uh... Oh, I think I just hit something. Information. I think I just hit something, I don't know. Well, this is just like home. Gotcha, nice one. Brain, brain, brain. Well, at, at the point you find bricks, yeah, you're definitely at some establishment, so. Although I guess like this is, you know, this is a an absolute dump in terms of like, you know, cans, bottles, like everything here. Uh, I think they actually do want me to bring the seed. Dang it. <sighs> Bit of a dang it. All the, like the fragile symbols though. This is just like, I mean, if if I'm an ant, these boxes must be like 10 centimeters across, like legitimately narrow. All of them, all of them. But they're all stacked in this strange way. Like, and like, I guess I'll ask the question: Where, where is this? Like, we got cans, we got like stuff lying around. You know, I can understand, you know, like litter. But then like you got cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. Like, fairly stacked. I don't know, man. This, I'm, I'm questioning your, your um, Traveler's Tales. Your, your level seems to just be a level. It, it, it exists. Oh. You know, it's weird. The fact that there's a. Uh, Cube map. There's a reflection map on the seed. Why is it shiny? Where's the tourist information? Oh. Oh. Nice. And there was a seed there the whole time I walked around. <laughs> Just... Uh so, I guess in terms of other media, I listen to the new Black Midi album. It's good. It's pretty good. It took me a bit, a fair bit, uh, number of listens to, like, really get what they were, like, trying to achieve and trying to, like, accomplish with it, um, because it's nowhere near as accessible as the first one. I think it, it definitely suffers a bit because of that, but it's... If you give it enough time and enough patience and really understand, like, what is where on the album, it makes a fair bit of sense, and... Oh my gosh, I'm actually just gonna, like, lose so many lives. Um... So, it... 
It definitely, like, it gradually pays off. Is it particularly, like, great? I think it is really good in the sense that it's so technical and so dense and... And not just like, oh, it's technical for the sake of technicality, but I think, like, that chaotic, brutal nature of the sound really, like, you know, wow. is accentuated by being technical and not just like, here I am just being, like, so layered. It's like, here, here is something that, like, legitimately sounds like five people are playing the music, and yet it sounds like five people are absolutely playing their all on the music. Oh, and this level just ends when you walk around the corner here, doesn't it? Yeah, it totally does. So it's like, the moment I pass this K, it's just like, the level ends. Which now has got me terrified, because I'm like, hmm. Where's the remaining, like, items? Or rather, I'm, I'm missing the... This is the city. Oh. Well, I'm missing a few seeds, first bye of all. Bye, buggy. But also on top of that, like... Nice I need the gold berry. I'm pretty sure you can't, like... Yeah, like, I can't go around there. Because I know the level just ends on me. And there's nothing else to really do. Like, you just get the K over here. So I must have missed out on a fair bit of stuff. I gotta watch out with ground pounding that often. Don't want to activate a bonus level this late. Why does this keep happening to me? I'm walking into enemies. I know I need to get one of those seeds over by the end, but I'd rather just explore around and really try and understand. Well, there's one. Hmm. I'm gonna absolutely game over on this, aren't I? Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, uh, Black Mirror Cavalcade. Give it a listen, oh, yeah. give the first album a listen first now if you didn't warriors. listen to it because it's like, I'd, I'd say the punchiness of the first one is really great and just like the immediacy of how, how accessible it is, how it does blend, um, I wouldn't say popular, but definitely a, a more contemporary and approachable sound. And yet still having that technicality and that kind of, you know, like, chaoticism going on. Uh, the second one, it's so much more. It's it's so much more that it's it's less on that, you know, simple sound and full on on the chaoticism. Which, as a follow-up album, it's rather admirable. I think that's something you gotta appreciate, is that, hey, it's at least something where I can go compare the two albums in terms of the impact they had and not just, like, the musical content. Um, which is something I found, uh, and this is the, con the controversial opinion that I've got, uh, what was it? Uh, Black Country New York Road? Is that the band? I, uh, I had found their album... Uh, to be rather derivative in that sense because it just sounded to me so much like Black Midi's first album and that came out like a couple of months, a few months ago the tourist information. but it, that's one where it's like I kind of missed what made Black Midi great and kind of just well, went hey here's point. something that's just reminding me way too much of Black Midi without really being its own thing in my eyes I don't know maybe I'm a bit harsh on that one because I feel like a lot of people do like that one. I'm probably turning off some viewers by going, hmm, hmm, he doesn't seem to like, loves Black Midi so much that he hates everything else that sounds like Black Midi. I'm like, oh, but it's, it's, because uh, there's only room in my heart for one Black Midi. Excuse me, pardon me. It's tough. I don't know. I don't like all my music sounding quite the same. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I get a bit too picky about it. Alright, I need that blue. I need that blue. Wait. No, I don't. It's just gonna give me involved, which is kinda convenient, but also just like. Do I need it? 
Maybe I could jump for it. Oh, it's, no, it's too far. Jeez. And, uh, yeah, there's still three seeds out there, and I'm really scratching my head as to where they are. I'm curious for the Let's Play if I, um, like, attempted the level and then just, like, couldn't find something, or I softlocked myself and I just, like, started again. Uh, and then just, like, only uploaded the correct run. I'm curious if I did that. That's the problem with the stream. You can't pro you can't hide from that. If you're uh, unable to do something, it's well known that you're unable to do something. Oh, is the pebble up there? No. I keep keep hallucinating. Keep glancing past. Going. Hmm. Ah, uh, don't want to hit exit level like that though. Oh, one of the things is in the bottle as well as wow. Did I really like walk past this all the time and go like? Hmm, I don't know where to go. You know what's kind of neat? You get all the kinds of... Well, actually, I don't really get a new red, but sure. Oh, the frame rate absolutely like has a field day there, though. Where's the tourist information? I can't think of any other part of the level that I haven't been to. Not this box, right? Like this box I've been on. Well, this is just like home. Like, apart from seed at the end. And I've got all the letters, right? What's the button that tells you the letters that you've gotten? There's a walk button, by the way, as well. Me, you got an analog stick and a walk button. Ah, oh. I don't know why I'm doing that. Why am I doing that? Hi. I'm invincible. Now to find those warriors. Yeah. So with that, um. Oh yeah. Bye bye, buddy. Nice. Where's, where's the grain? Where's the grain, gang? Oh no, no, no. I was thinking like, oh, is there something there? No. And where's the last token? Because, yeah, you obviously get all the, the thingies. Unless I just didn't care about being in the bottle there. No, the bottle seems empty. Hmm. I remember what I said about like, people, like, citing my Let's Play? Bro, I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, let's jump on this top of this. He's just gonna keep talking, by the way. He just keeps saying stuff. Uh. Alright, nah. Bye bye, buggy. Little ant, big seed. I'm just really hoping that it's not just a seed that despawned, you know? Like, I really hope I'm just killing all the enemies. Bye bye, buggy. But. Yeah, I can't think of any Where's ledges that I haven't been on. And also, why there's turrets. Oh. Well, this is just my that, that made me cry on the inside just then. <laughs> Them in there. Hmm. Where's the remaining, like, handful of things? Yeah. Now to find those all the nooks and crannies on the level, you know. Bye bye, buggy. Wow, the city. Yeah, jumping up here again. Jump up here again. Jump up here. Nothing. Nothing in particular. Between the the things, I I'm fully lost in terms of like where the remaining goods are. 
Got that up there, but I don't see a grain up there. Who knows? Who knows where it is? I think I'm gonna have to awkwardly bail on the level. It's taking me too long. Jeez. What a shame. So yeah, if you walk up to any of these, like, touch them, the level ends, so... Well, hello down there. May I suggest that you find the rest of our troop, and then we can meet again at the bug bar. The bars where I'll send them back to the dung heap. Mmm, easy as pie. As far as pie, no. What? I like raspberry. Excuse me, but can you handle grasshoppers? Can we? If you need help handling a crowd, our troop here guarantees a performance like no other. Why, when your grasshoppers arrive, we are gonna knock them dead. I feel like Flick is the most daft person if he doesn't realize that. Like, he sees this, like, stick bug and this caterpillar and goes, Yeah, they'll yeah. fight. Yeah. So, man, that's a bit disappointing I couldn't get any of those, but... Jeez, I... I'll head back. We'll, we'll figure it out next week. That's... It's... This one's a tougher one. This one's a lot tougher to, to get all this stuff. Now, this level, I don't remember having anywhere near as much trouble, but I... Do predict it'll uh, be a bit uh, busy to figure things out. And we'll leave the, the boss for, for next week, but... That just made me feel bad. <laughs> she can just bails on the homeless guy. Jeez. So, the goal of this level is to find the four thingies, the four people. Yeah! They're somewhere in the level, just as long as the music is. This Back to the Toy Story tones, this isn't it? And we use. still got the sirens as well. Still a city level, guys. You, get, you gotta remind them it's a city level. So, I believe this one's pretty open, but uh, all the, the characters are on the four corners, so I feel like I try and avoid, like, the really obvious one. Yeah, like, I try and avoid this guy. He's, he's, just, he's just chilling there. You can see him like, forever away. Also, I guess it keeps your perspective when you know that he's in that corner, so... And also, you got the signs pointing to to where things are. This guy's just gonna be here, so let's just get him. Uh, what? Okay, sure. <laughs> got it. I guess they're still there, anyways. But all right. So other than that, it's the same kind of idea with the level. I think it is probably an easier one to navigate though. But it's rather open. It's not it's not as linear an affair. I need super jump. And you need super jump. So you know where this is going eventually. This is the city. That's not a circus guy, that's just the bug. Alright, and I believe, yeah, you're also in the, the hunt for the super the gold berry tokens. Oh, as it is, as it goes. So, what's happening in the upcoming June? I don't know. What is happening in upcoming June? June's definitely uh, an interesting time. All, all my Gemini gang birthdays. There we go. Never fear, my boy. The cavalry has arrived. Now you just need to find the others. Uh. Yes, yes. You must beat the rest of us. Again, like, there's so many of these people. 
and they're so like varied that it just seems so odd. They're like Flick legitimately thinks that these people will help out. I need super jump. Isn't that the whole plot of the film basically? Like so he screws up the 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 food supply. The grasshoppers get mad. Uh, I guess they believe that killing the ants is like a solution to their problem. Like I guess you know, you could say, well, the grasshoppers get hungry, but then it's just like, well, I mean, if they kill off all the ants, then who's gonna, who's gonna work to give them food? Like, I don't see where the bargaining even is, but, okay. Kids film. So, point is, he goes to the city because he believes that he can fight off the grasshoppers, and then he just mistakes his people for, uh, for, like, actual fighters when, in they're really just circus people, and then he comes back, realizes it's all a ruse, and goes, Oh gosh, I have <laughs> subjected my entire family to death. Oh boy. Uh, and then actually devises a plan, because I don't know why Flick is just unique as a main character, I think. Is that... is that it? Like, compared to every other ant, he's... Like... You know, a bit stubborn like that? Is that... Is that it, the, the character trait, I think? I don't know, again, again, relying off my one viewing of the film like 20 years back. Gee, they're never gonna believe this back on Ant Island. And uh, in doing so, they devise a plan which actually works. Alright, I need that L. I'm not even like bringing around seeds, like, it just seems to be like just straight platform. There's an electric sound, I've just, like, I've been listening to this music Super for a bit and just went like... Just, electric sound, it, what? Uh, I think he needs super jumping on it to even get like a fair bit of this, so... Oh, yeah. Uh... Alright, I believe I can get this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ooh. But I need one more. I need one more token somewhere. I could get you Yeah. Uh, more grains, more everything. This does seem like an easier level to digest though. So I at least appreciate that. So far in these pairings of levels was one that's much more, much more easier to get into. Uh, might forget that for a moment. And a shield, why not? Isn't that cruel they got the other level with the, the toxic goop? What even was that? Just, just generic toxic goop in every Traveler's Tales game. It doesn't hit him, it doesn't hit him. <laughs> uh, I think I already went up here, but... Yeah, cross this way. There we go, this is what I want. This is the goods right here, there we go. Oh, and I've killed a bug. This is the city. I... Super jump. It's telling me about the super jump. I'm one token away, but I'm curious where that token is hiding. Where is the token? Who knows? All right, let's get that gold berry. How many? Whoop. Super jump. <laughs> Whoops. Twenty-three. There's only twenty-three enemies in this level. Oh, it is literally there. Bye bye, buddy. Let's go around and kill a bunch of these enemies in this dead end. I think that's all of them over here. I need super jump. Gee, they're never gonna believe this back on Ant Island. They're never gonna believe he needs super jump back on Ant Island. So is it actually an island? This I can use. Alright, well, let's get that super jump. There we go. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Super jump. Yeah. 
Alright, now to be on the epic quest to find all 17, 16 remaining enemies. I don't think it should be too bad. Uh, oh, as well as, you know, a handful of remaining pickups, but. Uh, so this guy's up here. There's a letter over there, which didn't actually require me jumping, but sure. That's only the second letter, what? Uh, so the one guy is not here. Strange, I thought he was, but okay. Bye bye, Bucky. That's okay. Uh, can I jump this? Or no, that's not quite where they want me to go. Alright, let's uh, not trigger him. He's not like sitting on anything, is he? Nah. Lightning sound yeah, in my bug video on. game. Alright, so that's all that. I picked up the eye, so now that just leaves the one letter. And then... Murder a bunch of animals? All good. Is this not the position that everyone wants to be in? I feel like a bug's life is, is that one Pixar franchise like a lot of them took off I feel like a bug's life is the one that just kind of like sat in its time and it's strange because I don't think there's anything on a technical filmmaking level that like makes it that bad if, if anything I think it's kind of impressive that they have well I mean I because it's yeah it's it's the film after Toy Story and that's kind of it like at the very least, it's like it's it's an animated film that came out after another animated film about ants. Maybe that's why. I think it used to be. Maybe that is actually why. Toy Story. Sorry, I'm. Well, A Bug's Life just doesn't take off as as hard as other Pixar franchises because they they lost the race to the 3D animated film about ants. Use the gold barrel and everything. It's like it's the Midas touch right here. Just ah uh, yes. Okay, there's four more. Where do you find four more? Oh, this one. All right, three more. Two more. I would love to continue counting that. Oh, one more. Now this comes the fun part. <laughs> The one more. Every time. Just gotta find help. Ugh. There we go. Alright, I'm expecting this one more to be an absolute pain to find. That's a draw distance and a half, isn't it? It's just like, yep, 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 there's the boxes. So, there's nothing, nothing on the way here. Nope. Nope, it appears to be all, all empty. Not just like one loose enemy over here. Maybe there was one in this corner I missed. Yes. Yes. Yes? Maybe? Flying? I mean, yeah, it's not that massive a level. I've only been in it for like... 13 Gee, minutes. Never gonna this back on Ant I don't want to walk into him just yet. I'm walking around. Okay. Looking yeah, around. Fine. Trying to find what's going down. Where is he? I guess this is the one thing, is that Toy Story is pretty explicit in what you need to collect, and the coins are not like the only coins in the level, but any any one thing in this game that doesn't appear, it's like, oh, good luck. Which is weird, because I don't find the levels in Toy Story to be particularly, like, larger or smaller. I feel like they're about the same size. 
Although I'd probably say this one leans more on the, the longer levels, or the larger levels. But it also doesn't have you, you know, doing like a race challenge or something. Or coming back with power-ups. You know, you can, you can get everything in your first visit to the levels if you know where everything is. Uh, he's got to be chilling here, right? Right? He's just, he's just around the corner. I don't think we're going to believe this back on Ant Island. Hmm. I'm, I'm really scratching my head where this one enemy is. Where is he hiding? Where is he? Where is he chilling? The only thing I can think of is that me scouting the perimeter of the level so much, I'm missing the center. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, <laughs> oh, he was up here the whole time. Really? Get him! Get him! There we go. All right. Time to run off. Uh, well, that's a bit mildly disappointing. I couldn't do level 7 like that, but... Hey, if anything, that means that there's uh, a little more content for next week's stream than it would be otherwise. And find us all. Now time to go. I find it's also a little interesting that that level has a different line of dialogue for each of the four characters. Oh, yeah. I missed the L! <laughs> I missed the letter! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. I... I mm, mm. Hey, remember what I said about being overly confident at the beginning of the stream? Nice. Oh well. Well, I guess with that... Rather disappointing. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this train wreck of an ending of a level. I know I sure did, but it was all, I'm oh, sorry, of a, of a stream, but eh, it's all fine. It's all good in the end. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, uh, follows and the subscribes are always fun. Uh, nothing really too much about it, just you know, if you want to see more stuff, I guess. Uh, I am also uh, probably going to stream next week like I've done for the last... 19 weeks or so, 20 weeks, we'll see, uh, but no, it's been good fun, uh, I'm looking forward to clearing off the rest of this game, um, I like it, as much as I'm like, oh, I'm looking around fighting for things, it's good to, to, to remember that, so it's all good, anyways, and for you, have a great week, stay safe, uh, sleep early, eat your greens, uh, and rug up because it's June unless you live anywhere on the Northern Hemisphere, in which case it is warm. So in that case, savor it. Have a good one, everyone.